welcome to my craft room. Hey, um, I disappeared for a while here. I got COVID and I've had long COVID for a long time and I'm finally now bouncing back. And so I've got a bunch of really cool ideas for Father's Day. Um, so, but it's, I'm running a little late here, so you're gonna have a bunch. But here, I saw this graphic on Cricut and it says dad to the bone. So I thought, hmm, that would be fun to do a pirate one. So the cover, and then it pops up to the pirate ship. It says from your pirate crew on the bottom. So, and I just thought it was fun. So let's go make it. Okay, here we are on the canvas. First thing we need to do is get our images. So we're gonna hit the image button. If you have never looked up images by their code number, let me show you how to do that. They all start with a hashtag capital M. There we go. And the card is 1067FA. There we go. Search. There it is. Okay, so you're just going to click that. And as you can see, it puts it down here by your add button. Okay, so then we're going to go to the next one. Okay, now you see you've got a whole list here of all your different images. So I'm going to fast forward from here while we all get these images put onto our canvas and I'll meet you over there. Okay, now here we are on the canvas. Let's see. Let's get all, let me get all these spread out so we can see them. The card. First, let's go ahead and just change the size and then we're, we're done with it. Okay, so you're going to go to edit and your side, the width is going to be seven inches and that should pop it up to 10 inches in height, as you can see, 9.99, close enough. And then we're gonna go into layers. Okay, you see where the it's highlighted here? Usually I'll just hit the, hit the eye buttons and they're gone, okay? So we've got the size. Okay, let's get all of our sizes and then we'll work on our colors. So your ship is gonna be four inches high, which it already is. Look at that. Well, that makes it easy, doesn't it? Your flag first, let's go into layers. We are going to not use this part of it, okay? And your flag is 3.5 high. So let's go into here, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Then here's your dad to the bone. It's gonna be easier for us to do this if we change the color because we're gonna put it on top of this flag. Um, so let's change the color to white just while, just as a working color for us. There we go. We also need, I'm going to show you a little trick here. Um, but first we need to make a duplicate of this flag. Okay. So you're just going to go to actions and hit duplicate. There you go. We'll set it over there. I'll show you what we're going to do here in just a minute. Let's go back to the dad skull and it's 2.4 high. So let's go to edit, height 2.4. There we go. Now, this flag, we need one in white. So we're gonna go to this basic cut here and we're gonna change it to white. That's gonna be our background. So let me show you this. This is an easy thing for me, um, slicing out, and we're gonna do that on our pirate crew also, and that way you're not having to glue down individual letters. First, let's tilt it just a little bit so it kind of looks like it's being tilted on the flight. Whoops. So what we're gonna do is, first we need to um, combine this. So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna hit weld, okay? Because it has to be one image and not a whole bunch of different parts for the slice to work. And then we're gonna put it up here. Okay, do you see where I had? Let me show you this easier. The purple lines tell you when you're in the middle. And once it's across like that, you know it's right in the middle, okay? So then once you get it where you want, you're gonna slide your finger or your mouse across, 
There you go. Click. And then right down here in slice, we're going to hit slice. Okay. And what that does is it slices it right out of the flag. Now, we are going to use a, a part of this skull here. Um, so once it cuts out of here, you want to keep this for just a few, for until we're done on the desktop. Then that's what the white is for. That gives you a background. So you have the white part of your um, skull. Now, um, the clouds. Your clouds are 3.5 inches wide. Width, 3.5. There we go. And the color is white. There's those. They're done. To be, we're going to change both height and width on this. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You go in here to edit. Do you see that lock button in between width and height? We're going to unlock that. There you go. And it is 5.5 wide. So 5.5. And one inch high. Okay, let's put this up here. Okay, now, first for this, we need a rectangle with the curved um, corners right here. Well, the rectangle for that is going to be four inches wide. So let's make this four inches. And then this is going to be a bright red. Okay. There we go. We're going to duplicate it duplicate and this one is going to be white and we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did with um the flag now this guy right here the pirate phrase is three inches wide so go into width put three in there there we go now we're going to cut this out of this when this happens you just either hit send it back. Now, let's get this right up here in the middle. There we go. Did you see the orange, the purple lines? There we go. I'm sorry. I'm so rusty at this. It's been five months since I've made a video because I had long COVID so bad. Okay, we're doing the exact same thing. You're going to drag your finger or your mouse. You're going to grab both of those. You're going to hit slice. There you go. There's your two things that you cut out. So, we don't need those. We can delete those. And here you go. Again, go into edit, go to arrange, put send it back. Now, this one, we are going to uh, glue the insides because they're bigger. Okay, so here's that. Now, before I group it, I'm going to take it apart again. And we're going to put our um, writing on there. Okay? So from, okay, from your, there we go. And I used, you're in edit, you're going to go over here where it says Cricut Sands. And I used BFC Cute Cursive. Totally your, your decision on whichever one that you would like to use. Cute. There it is right there. Okay, see, look, it's already changed it. And I have it at one inch wide. Let's try that one inch. So let's get it where we want it first. Okay, so now we don't want to cut this out. It's way too little. It's way too hard. We want to write it. So we're going to go in here. We're in edit. You see right here in the middle where it says basic cut. We're going to go up here. We're going to do this drop down menu and hit pen. And I did it in a blue. That's, you know, it's your decision, whatever pen that you've got. Um, and it should, I used a fine tip uh, Cricut pen. Oh, we need to tell Cricut to write those words on this piece of paper. So you're going to drag your finger or your mouse across, grab both of them, and hit attach. Okay, so this goes behind. There we go. And I'm going to group these up just to keep them together. So there's that. We're getting really close to being done. Okay, let's do your card next. Group. Okay. Then 
First, let I did this card in the white just so everything else would uh, pop out. And but if your paper has a score line or a pen line on it, you must change the color in um, layers. So you're going to go to layers, and then we're going to pick only this part, the actual paper part. Okay, right there. See, not see where the score line is not highlighted. Okay, and then you're going to go to edit, change the color to white. Boom, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to need to do the other one, the insert, while we're here. There we go. We've got it highlighted. And I made this a light blue. Okay, just so it would look like the sky. There we go. Now, we need to do one more thing. This card is one of the very first cards they ever came up with, and it works great. But since it's so old, it doesn't have the score lines um, to fold this, this part so it will create a shelf for you to put your ship on, okay, to make it a pop-up. So we need to put two score lines on here. So you're going to go back into shapes. You're going to hit this line. You can see that it's um, a dotted line. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see it better. You see it's a dotted line. That means it's a score line. And it is going to be five inches high. There we go. And we're going to need two of those. So we're going to go back to action and hit duplicate. Okay. Now we are going to line these up right here on the side of each of these cuts. So let me get them in place and then I will um, zoom in and we'll make sure that we get them right in the right spot. This is gonna help you a lot when we get to the point where we're gonna make the, you know, bend the card and make the card, okay? It's too hard without the score lines. So you're gonna put it right here on the tip, right there, okay? And the bottom one I've already got in the right spot. Once you get those lined up, we also have to attach these just like we did the writing. So you're gonna drag your finger or your mouse, make sure that you've gotten all. You're gonna hit the attach button down here. Now I'm gonna make sure, yeah, make sure you've got all of them attached. There we go. Now we just have one more thing to do and you're gonna be ready to cut. We need a red rectangle to go behind our flag on the cover of our card. So we're going to go back into shapes. We're going to hit this squared off square. Okay, our rectangle, hold on, is six and a half by four and a half. It's going to be 6.5. We're going to unlock our button and our and it's going to be 4.5 height. There we go. And that is going to be our bright red to match our pipe. So there's your cover. Okay, last thing we need to do is the envelope. Let's find it. I got it up out of our way. For, um, to fit this card, let's change the size first. We're gonna go into edit. You're gonna unlock your button in between your width and your height. The width is going to be 11.05. There we go. And the height is gonna be 8.75. 8.75. There we go. And then to change the color, we're gonna have to go into layers. We're gonna pick just the envelope. Gonna go back to edit, color, and white. There you go, there is your envelope. So you should be ready to cut. So go ahead, get all of this um, cut. Go ahead if you'd like and glue this together. That means putting the middles in each one of your um, letters, the middle of your R's, the middle of your A, the middle of your P. That will make it a lot faster when we get over on the um, on the craft table. So I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we are at the craft table. Um, thank you for putting this together. Um, I hoped you liked the whole um, slice it out and then all you gotta do is put the middles in. So that makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna work on the cover first. Here's your white flag and your black flag together. Hold on, let me get this little um, X-Acto knife real quick here. I laid them all out for you just to show. Okay, this little outline, this black outline right here, we're gonna use that. 
okay? But first, and, and again, we sliced it like we did before. Now, to do the inside of these letters, they're really, really tiny. So if you wanna do that, that's fine. What I'm probably gonna do is get my fine point pen and just draw them in. Because again, they're just, they're just the insides. So it's not that, that important. So first, let's get this glued on the front. So, if you have watched my channel, you know I have a special needs adult son, and he has learned about Talk Like a Pirate Day. So, you can imagine <laughs> what it's like. It's funny. Okay, so we're just going to glue it straight on the top here. And this way, we don't have to take all those little tiny letters and everything and glue them on okay there you go there's your and now we're going to glue this one in this gives you your your the, your mouth part okay so just a little bit of glue you're not going to need a ton oh and i forgot to show you hold on let me get this glued in and then i'll show you the different um the glue that i use hold on two seconds let me get this the edges around Okay, now we're going to put this in here. There we go. That gives us some, uh, I use our glitter glue. Um, if you, like I said, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I am getting over long COVID and these are some of my first um, videos back and I apologize. I, I'm a little out of sync here. So I use our glitter glue. I get it with the small and this, this super fine tip and a refill. I make a lot of stuff and it lasts me forever. So it's a really good thing to do. Then this is a five by seven card. Uh, very easy to find one in Cricut. Um, and I know I left the one that goes with this particular card on there so you can use that. I've also got these from Hobby Lobby. I waited till they were half off. So it's 12 pack for $1.50. Um, five by seven size. So now we've got all this on here. Let's get our sunglasses and our nose on. So if you need this insert in here to kind of guide you where you want to go, you can also put that in there first and then put the sunglasses on. But I think we'll be fine without it. What do you think? There we go. It's supposed to kind of look like a regular um, skull eyes. So we're gonna put it where it goes. And the nose, gonna go right here. Let's do that. There we go. Now, like I said, you can, let me pull this, let me show you, look. You can pull all these little tiny pieces out of the middles, but this is so small. You know, I, I did it for this, of course, because these are big, but these are so small. I'm probably just going to take my fine tip and do just like this. Nobody's gonna even know that it's different than what it's supposed to be, okay? Because these are so, such tiny pieces. See, just like that. Very simple. You don't need to make yourself crazy over this kind of stuff. Put a little circle in the middle of your O's and they don't have to be perfect either. Nobody's gonna look at it as close as you do. I, that is something that I have learned. I am a real bad perfectionist and I have learned to sort of let a little bit of it go so I don't drive myself crazy. <laughs> there you go, look at that, quick and easy. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and glue it on the front of the of this. We are not going to glue it. I, I'm going to make mine at, at an angle a little bit. We are not going to glue this onto the card yet. We'll do that last. Why? I do this every single time. Because if we mess up the inside, then we'd have to remake everything. But if we leave this to the last and we mess up the inside, then we don't have to remake it. At least we don't have to remake this part. Okay, I'm gonna have it come on, pretty much touching the edges here. But that's a personal thing. You can do it straight across if you'd rather. 
And there you go. Look at that. Look how cute that is. Okay, so let's set this bat aside to dry. And then, of course, we're going to need this last. Okay, here is the inside of our card. First, we're going to fold it. There we go. And then this is going to fold up this middle part right here. So the easiest thing to do is just fold the whole thing. Okay. And then you're going to put like your fingers right here and fold it just a little bit just to get it started like this. Okay. And then this side too. Let's fold it up just a little bit like that. And then pop it up. All right. There we go. Just like that. Now. This is not, is made to go into your card and to stay just like this, okay? When you get your, when, when the card is opened or displayed, it's not, it's not made to, to fold out flat. So you don't have to worry about that part. Okay. Now this is going to go in here and it's going to have about a quarter of an inch all the way around. You see that right there? Okay. But before we do all that, let's get our ship done. Hey, thank you for doing this part because it's going to make the rest of this very easy. The reason I made the inside of this card a light blue is so the waves would still be blue like this. But So we are going to put this on top right here. It needs to touch all the way to the bottom. If you don't like the wave showing through, I do. If you don't like it, you can cut that part, those parts off right there. Okay, I'm going to move mine over just a little bit. Okay, right there. We're going to put it right in the middle. Okay, so then let's do just the bottom part here. Right here. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the middle. I want it all the way to the bottom of the wave so it will fit into my envelope. Just like that. There we go. See? There we go. Now, all we need to do is glue our ship onto here. This is going to hang off about mm, half an inch or so off the end. So we're just going to glue right here in the middle. Okay? Now, I tell everybody, leave these cards open overnight. Okay? Why? So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see kind of where I'm at here. Why? Because you don't want the glue to still be wet and then it'll glue your card together or it will glue your card into your envelope. You don't want that. Okay. We're going to push this all the way to the very bottom. Okay. I'm going to stick my fingers kind of back behind and push. There we go. Look at that. You've already got your pop-up ship. Okay. Now this i put mine over just a little bit so there was room for everybody to sign okay so but if you like it better in the middle you can do it right in the middle as a matter of fact i think i do like that better i'm gonna leave it there and then you know if you have a group you know they can sign on either side if you just have a couple they can all sign on one side so that's all totally up to you if you want to do it a little bit to the side you can if you want to put it right in the middle you can but thank you for putting this together this makes it a lot faster for us to get done there we go make sure i'm straight yeah that looks good okay look at that You've already got your pop-up done. You've got the inside of your card done. You've got your cover done. Now, all we need to do is start some glue, start doing some glue in here. Okay? So, first thing we're going to do. There we go. Okay, you want to make sure that this is even. Okay, so we are going to glue one side and then the other. So first, let's do this one. Okay, get down in these little things. Do not glue the folded part up here. Okay, now. There we go. Just like that. You 
don't need a ton. I mean, it's just a card, okay? So the best thing to do is we are going to fold this up. We're gonna, there's no glue on the un underside, right? So we're gonna match up our folds. We've got about a fourth of an inch all the way around. Let's make sure we've got it in there straight. Okay, there's that corner and oh this one is a little off so let me get that it right in the right spot here okay i'm going to match up my folds okay and then close my card there we go just like that see look at that look mine's a little bit crooked so i'm going to fix that real quick just a little bit there we go there we go now all we got to do is do this one so this one's even easier you're gonna close it up we're gonna put glue on it now remember like I said this is not supposed to lay completely flat back out there we go I don't know why it decided it didn't like me today. You never know. Okay, let's get all of this glue on here. And now all we're gonna do is close the card. Okay, just like that. There you go. And there you go, look at that. <laughs> look at what a great job you're doing. Look, look how cute that already is. You are doing a great job. Okay, basically all we have to do is put this on. Okay, now it's gonna be a quarter inch all the way around. The reasons why I made it white, so it would, so the the bad to the dad to the bone would pop way up. Okay, so let's get this guy glued on, and you're gonna be done. See, you thought it was gonna be hard, and it wasn't. It was really easy. You should be really proud of how well you did. Okay, now. Let me get this in here, make sure I'm kind of even all the way around. It's hard for me to see. I have to sit so far back so I don't get into your, let me make sure, yeah, I'm straight. And there you go, look at that. Look, you're already done. Look how easy that was. Look what you made. You did a great job, I'm so proud of you. Look at that. Hey guys, I forgot about the clouds. So you can just check on my thumbnail and...